Hello and welcome to Toy Polloi 2. Today we are going to be opening a box of bits from Barbarossa Customs. Now you may remember that name because over on Toy Polloi I've done a couple of projects using bits from his shop. He makes reproduction parts of lots of Masters of the Universe pieces and I used some of his pieces to uh, restore a vintage laser light Skeletor and I also got the chance to build his kit of uh, laser light Skeletor. Basically he's cast all of the pieces from that figure. You can buy them and then you can put them together to make your own version and this is the one that I made. And I had great fun doing this because essentially you're building a toy from the component parts so I had to uh, sort of build it up do the electronics sort out the paint and make it look as close to the original as I could and I was very happy with the end result I think it's a really nice figure and it was a really fun project I probably one of the, my most fun projects I've worked on uh, sort of building a figure like this it just gives you a new sense of uh, how these things are put together so that was what I'd previously done with the Barbarossa custom pieces. He's now sent me another box. I'm not quite sure what's in it. So let's open it up and see what he sends over. Right, well, there was a letter inside from Pete and uh, it's a list of everything that's in there and it all sounds really exciting. So I'm not going to read that out. Let's just go on in and see what's in there. There are a couple of projects in here and some things to build that I've been chatting with him about. And um, one of them is very exciting. In fact, they're all very exciting, but one of them is particularly exciting. As I mentioned, I like building things. So we've got bits here for some other projects. So I can show you them now. I'm just going to take them all out of the box and then let's talk through them because I think it is really really quite exciting stuff. So I'm going to start with this bag first because this is something that I chatted with Pete about and uh, he's very kindly sent me the kit over to have a go with. I did explain at the start that I really enjoyed making this uh, laser light skeleton. So this is the Barbarossa kit. Basically it comes in parts. You build it up and put it together, paint it and it's just great fun. Well he has another kit which is this one and that's basically taking the laser light version of Skeletor and doing a sort of halfway house between that and the new adventures version of HEMA because the laser light version of Skeletor is a sort of precursor to this new adventures version and I like this figure but it's not proper He-Man if you know what I mean it's not the right proportions so what Pete has done is he's taken that laser light skeletal version and then made bits to uh, turn it into the new adventures version so it's the sort of same proportions it's the laser light skeletal body as you can see here it's got all the same bits but if we go up to the head and the uh, staff so there you go there's a the staff which now looks like the new adventures version I'll just take that out so there you go, you can see that's the new adventures version of the staff. And then in here we have bits to make a sort of a, a custom helmet to go on the laser light skeletal and make him look like the new adventure. So there's the, the there's the helmet that goes onto the laser light figure. In fact, if I bring my one in here, if we take that off, you can see that I think this should fit over the top. Which way around does it go? Yeah, it goes on like that. Just squeeze that on. So you can see it starts to look like the New Adventures version. I think that's a really nice sort of modification. So he's done sort of changes to the figure. So the hand is no longer clear uh, red plastic. It's purple, both of the hands there. We've got a different version of the pelvis. But this is all in kit form. So you get to build it yourself and get to paint it up. So I'm going to paint it up to look like this version, the uh, New Adventures version. But it will be the laser light skeletal. So it will have all the bits in it. And it looks like there's all the wiring so we can still make his eyes glow. And he's even included the uh, cape fabric, which is very nice because uh, I think I've never really particularly found a good cape fabric for uh, this version. I've got some, but it's not that close. This looks very good indeed. So that's the first thing he sent, which is really exciting. As I say, I'm going to enjoy building that up. I think that's going to be a very fun project indeed. Can't wait to get started on that one. Next we have a pile of bags and there's a big list here which I will have to read through because it explains what every one of these is. First up though is a bag here which contains another chest for a laser light skeletal. Uh, thanks Pete for sending this over, this is very kind. Uh, he previously sent me a whole load of pieces for a laser light skeletal to show in projects and to work on and I'd ended up with a sort of bag of spare arms but no chest piece so um, by sending me this it means I've actually got enough here that I can make another version. I think I'm going to make myself a sort of custom laser light skeletal and do a better more interesting paint job on him. I think the original laser light skeletal has a fairly plain paint scheme. You can see it's got sort of bronze on his chest and a, a sort of fairly detailed head but the rest of him is quite plain but there's all this detail all this pipe work and everything. And what I want to do is actually sort of paint that up a little bit more detail so add some silver bits and some just sort of colour all over and 
but yeah, you know, basically just tart him up. But you can see there's lots of panels and things on his legs that just look like they should be painted. So I'm going to use uh, the new body that I have here and the other bits to make myself a sort of custom painted version of Laser Light Skeletal, which I think will be quite good fun. So thanks for that. That's really helpful. Then we have all of these bags and I will read through the list as I go because it explains exactly which one is which. They've got numbers on them. So we've got number one here. So this, there's, this is a Filmation Faker head to go on the Masters of the Universe origins figure that's very nice so that makes your uh, origins figure look like the filmation version very cool indeed and these all have a standard fitting so they do fit on very nicely we've got number two here let me find the number two bag which says so this is an anti-eternia version of he-man for the origins figure so this is him cast in black with bright red hair and little red eyes. You can see there's just a bit of paint put on there for the red eyes. So that's that one. We've got, where's number three? Number three says, this is the uh, He-Man for the Masters of the Universe Revelation. Skin tone matches the standard He-Man as well as Savage He-Man. So this is a much more angry version. And this has got a nice uh, paint application on the hair to give it that extra bit of detail. Very cool indeed. Then we've got number four, which says this is a King Greyskull, or a very barbaric He-Man for the Masters of the Universe Origins line. So he's got sort of longer hair tied in plaits at the front. I quite like that one. That's quite good. It looks much more modern than the, some of the, the heads. I do, you know, for me it's a classic He-Man head, but that's quite nice. A nice sort of modern look there to the head. Then we have bag number five, which is a right hand for Roboto. Oh, right, so instead of having his weapons on, you can actually give him a right hand. That looks pretty cool. So I guess that clips in the same hole that the uh, sort of weapons clip in. I don't have a Roboto from the Origins line. I'll have to try and get one because that looks pretty useful. I've got a few from the, the uh, vintage originals, but uh, yeah, not the modern one. So there you go, a right hand for that. Then where's number six? Let me find number six. Number six says, uh, this is a slime monster He-Man head and sword for the Masters of the Universe Origins line. Use a coloured Royal Guard figure and add He-Man harmonies and hey presto, you've got a slime monster version. Oh, that's a clever idea. So use another figure, swap out the body bits and that and um, give yourself a custom figure. So it's basically He-Man's head cast in a sort of greeny colour there. So that's the sort of classic version. And then we've got a different version here of He-Man's head. Very nice. And then we've got green versions of his sword. I actually really like those. They're really nice and colourful. Definitely going to have to try and make that version. So that was uh, bag number six. And then finally we have bag number seven, which is the Filmation style Hordak head. Originally sculpted face for the Masters of the Universe Origins and perfect for uh, to put on a Horde Trooper. Oh yeah, I like that. That's very nice. That's quite different to uh, how Hordak appears uh, in normal sort of toy form. That's very cool. So it's got the same fitting inside as well. So you can put that on the Origins figures. Those are all really cool, Pete. Thank you for sending those over. I've got to um, get myself a whole load more origins figure so I can start making up some of these customs. So there you go, all really cool pieces. Thanks uh, to Peter at Barbarossa Customs for sending those over. If you want any of these pieces then uh, check out his website. I will put a link to that in the description and you're going to be seeing more of these over on Toy Ploy because I'm really looking forward to making the New Adventures version of the Laser Light Skeletor. Uh, that looks like a quite a fun project and I am going to also be making my own custom version of uh, Laser Light Skeletor and doing an extra paint job on him because I think that would look quite interesting as well. It's just nice to have all all of these options uh, when sort of playing with toys as I really do class it these days this is me playing with toys I'm just sort of an adult playing with toys and doing fun things with them and I, it's nice to see that other people do the same so again yeah massive thank you to Pete for sending those over if you've enjoyed this video then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I up a new video and if you've really enjoyed it then head on over to Toy Ploy and subscribe there because that's the only way you're going to be seeing some of these projects in future the custom builds and all of that will be featured over there thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.